Welcome to Adastra's Power BI Showcase Review. We're going to review a report we built recently for a North American manufacturer that enables the manufacturer to monitor downtime on their production lines and track the number of occurrences or hours of downtime and compare production performance against targets. Through the report, we're able to focus in dynamically on current month or a specific time window that the manufacturer needs to measure performance for. And as they switch back and forth between uh, current month or not, uh, we're using bookmark functionality within Power BI to enable a custom layout where they could choose a custom time window. They can focus in on regional data, specific line data, or by a specific shift. We can focus in on specific plants or get performance across all plants. We can see in this plant's case, downtime across each of the production lines with the G3300 having the highest number of hours of downtime in the current month with the ability to see the number of occurrences that led to that. We also see downtime by source reason whether it was down because there were no orders to run through the production line, whether it was on standby because of a failure, et cetera. And if we click on one of these reasons, we can see information about the failure codes or comments related to that downtime source. We can see a 90 day trend showing going forward where we expect the downtime to track to and we can see the specific comments explaining the downtime. So if I click on a specific plant and a specific production line, I can see the list of comments that relate to that. If we move to the second page of our report, we can compare the number of orders processed at each plant against the original budgeted order volume, the start of quarter reforecast, the start of month reforecast, and then the actual number of orders, the units that were targeted versus the actual units that were shipped. And then we have KPIs which compare the um, actuals against the targets with yellow indicating uh, concerning performance and red indicating very concerning performance when compared to targets. We can also see at the plant level, at the bottom, whether a given plant is having a hard time achieving its 100% targets, whether they be original budget or reforecasts. We have the same ability to customize from current month to a specific time window, or look at a specific date range versus the assumed month to date, again using bookmarks. And then finally, on our third page, we have the ability to see that same comparison against targets broken down by customer and by product brand. For example, if we want to see how we're doing with this one specific customer, we can see in each case for each product what our performance looks like. So these three report pages, along with 30 other report pages were developed for this manufacturing customer and are being used in production today to effectively manage their plant performance.